What's up, everybody? Tim Stoddart here with SoberNation.com. It's been a while. I say that every time I make a video because I keep telling myself I'm going to make more videos and then I get too busy. Well, you know what? That's bullshit. It's not that I get too busy. I just have other priorities. That's the reality of the situation, right? However, here I am jumping in front of the camera, wanting to share some things with you. Um, first and foremost, thank you to all of the Sober Sense uh, story submissions. I think it takes a lot of courage to write your story and to allow it to be posted on a public forum. However, just know that those pictures and that content really helps a lot of people. And I know that because every time we post a sober since uh, picture or the personal story, I get messages on the Facebook and more specifically, we get message requests on the Instagram page saying, how can I be involved with that? Wow, I never knew so many people uh, were sober like me or had struggled with some of the same things that I did. So just know that that stuff doesn't go unnoticed. I know on the surface, it just, it just looks like some kind of social media stuff, but I assure you there's some real deep meaning and um, value behind that. So please continue to do that. Uh, the Sober Stories link is, is on the top of the, the website on the navigation bar, and there's always links on the, uh, on the Facebook page and the social media. So on that note, I wanted to take a minute to address something that I had been thinking of a lot and the idea came because of those sober stories and again just the message that i had uh, talked about and that is this idea of anonymity and not even so much anonymity but uh the opposite but coming forth and talking about your experience you know i still don't quite have this one figured out because obviously people know the sober nation brand and Many of those people do know me, and with that being said, I'm still uncomfortable talking about recovery and addiction and alcoholism in such a public format. I think the reason why is because I guess I'm still a little bit insecure that people are going to think I have some kind of like holier than thou complex or like I'm some kind of super recovery advocate and in a lot of ways I am because I, I really believe in recovery and I support recovery but I don't want to be seen as somebody that sort of preaches recovery as being as that that promotes people in recovery as being better than people who aren't in recovery because the fact of the matter is that some people that aren't in recovery may have addiction issues but there's plenty of people that don't and they go ahead and they live their lives and they they drink or maybe they even like smoke some pot or use recreationally or, or whatever the case may be. That's their problem and that's their life and that's their issue and I don't have any control over that and truthfully like I support them in their decision to live their lives however they choose to and because of that I've always been a little bit insecure about promoting these messages of recovery. But what I realized today, this morning, as I was at the gym, as I was doing my workout, I realized that it's not about me. It's not about what people perceive of me. It's about the people that are out there that are looking at this amazing community that we've built and that are struggling and that are asking themselves, like, how did they do that? Because they probably need help. So with all that, I'm going to encourage everybody to reach out to somebody who they think may need help. Now when I say need help, I'm not talking about getting them into treatment, I'm not talking about bringing them to a meeting, I'm not talking about telling them what they need to do with their lives, although sometimes that, sometimes that stuff does need to be said. But what I'm talking about specifically in this moment is just listening to them. Because sometimes people just want to talk to somebody. And sometimes people just have a lot going on and they just want to be heard. So that's my message for you tonight. That's what's been on my mind. Those are my feelings about 
me and my personal stories and how if even I'm insecure about sharing some of that information, it's okay if you are as well. But what's not okay is to keep that shit inside and let it fester and let it eat, eat at you because that's what keeps you sick. Guys, I appreciate you so much. Tim at SoberNation.com. If you ever want to reach out to me, we're always looking for writers. If you want to share your story, if you have a blog post or, or some kind of message you want to get out there, uh, you can email Tori, T-O-R-I at SoberNation.com and she'll hook you up. I'll talk to you next time.